Hello friends, oh my god, long time no see. I did post on my community tab, well actually I posted it today, but you're not seeing it today, that I haven't been updating on this vlog channel for I think a month, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit, it might actually be a month, and the reason is that I started my own beauty brand. I did hint about this in my last vlog that like a really really big thing was happening next week and I didn't know if I was gonna have time and honestly it's taking me a little bit of time to like really catch up with the feeling of having a second business because like running a YouTube channel, running Instagram, TikTok and all that, that is that is my job. <laughs> that is my my business, my company. And now I started a second company which is Cinch Beauty and the website is open. I will leave a link to it down below in case you're interested in checking out what I have been doing. But honestly, it's just been so much fun and I'm actually going to go and pack some orders right now. I do have my my little companion here. Hi Kaisa, do you want to say hi? Or are you too tired? Oh, she's too tired. Oh, I'm too tired, she said. Oh, okay. She was, um, we were playing with the neighborhood dogs yesterday. <laughs> and she's super tired. I also have been cleaning out my closet. I have some stuff here. I'm going to be, some of these things are like things that have like a stain on them or a broken seam uh, or like it's just bad quality. So I'm going to be throwing away stuff that's like, not good like broken faulty anything like that and then i am gonna donate the rest we're just trying to figure out where we're gonna donate it i'm sure there's like somewhere where you can just like leave a bag of clothes maybe in a container or something because we have that in sweden so i want to do something like that i uh, need to organize that i have been editing five reels this morning i uploaded seven like reels tiktoks that i had like filmed on makeup and stuff i uploaded seven last week and i still have five that i <laughs> I did it this morning, but let's go and pack some orders for Cinch Beauty because I have a, a bunch of orders going out today. I have a pickup later today. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Yes, your mommy's little baby. Oh, your mommy's baby. So I am going to fix that. And maybe breakfast? What is the time? Oh, it's 10.17. We're definitely high. <laughs> Not breakfast. I'm going to wait for lunch. Do I have anything for lunch? I don't know. Maybe I'll have to door dash. Do I have noodles? Is noodles gonna be enough? This is me thinking out loud. Also, can we appreciate that I took the time to clean a lot of brushes? Like brushes that I don't technically use that much anymore, but they needed to be cleaned so that I can either put them in storage or give them to somebody else and Yes, I have been wearing slippers because I told you the weather is not amazing and this is still where my Sephora haul is. If you want to see my Sephora unboxing of the Sephora sale, uh, that video is live on my main channel and it's literally me just showing you all of this, watching all of this, but yeah, look at this. Look at me being productive. Also, look at the bestest of friends. Are you the bestest of friends? Oh, we had to put, oh, look at this mess. We had to put the chairs over here because right now this is my little packing station. This is where I am packing my orders. I have some slips here that I'm going to be packing today. I still have more boxes than I have brushes, which why do I have more boxes than brushes? Nobody knows. It's a mystery. But yeah, this is how I am keeping and organizing everything for packing. So... Yes, yeah, so far so good. Let me get some of these orders out of the way.
Okay, I'm done with the packing. I have a fill of an IKEA bag. I have a little bit of trash here behind me that I need to see to. I think I'm gonna go up and start preparing some videos that I need to film. I'm heading to Charleston soon in two weeks. Oh, in two weeks I'm heading to Charleston. It is an influencer trip, but it is an influencer trip created by influencers for influencers. So this is not a brand trip, but it has become with time sponsored by some brands, but like this is initiative by Samantha March and Simbri. I think it's Simbri Things on Instagram, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, remind me and I will link them down below. And it's just a big trip. We're going like almost 20 different influencers on this trip and I'm super, super excited, but I need to, <laughs> I need to prepare and I need to pre-film a little bit because so far I only have one thing pre-filmed. And that's not enough. Okay, so I think my food is here. I decided to get some DoorDash because I didn't have any leftovers. And I felt like I deserved food. Oh, it's right here. <gasps> oh, so yummy. Oh, I think he thinks it's yummy too. Do you wish it was for you? Or do you wish it was for you? <laughs> I have a package from Peach and Lily here as well. I think this is the new scrub, because I heard my friend got this one, so I think this is the new scrub. Oh, and did you see my new flowers? <gasps> They're so beautiful. I love this vase. It is from Ikea. So I got, I got a burger with some fries from Chili's, because I was dying to get that. Oh, and also, look what came in PR. I got the Kayali, the big perfume of the gelato one. They said they were going to send me this one, and then they didn't. But they reached out to me and they said there must have been some mistake, so they resent it. And I'm very, very grateful because I really, truly love this perfume. And I have some Pihari here as well that hasn't been revealed yet, so I don't want to ruin it for the brand. Sir? It's not like you're ruining your vibe. Holy bananas. I also bought this one. This is the Revlon Colorstay Longwear Makeup for Combination Oily Skin. And I know that uh, Ali Dawson has been raving about this. That's my hamburger. Has been raving about this foundation. And she really loves it. And since it's a drugstore foundation, I thought I'd try it out and see how it is. I got it in 240. I think it might be a good shade, but we're going to try this one out. So... Please don't. Okay, I'm gonna play a game of League of Legends and have a hamburger. Hello. All of a sudden, my package from... Well, <laughs> it's not even on this package, but it's my package from Little Cosmetics came. Wait, let me get a knife. I just came in from walking the dogs on a little lunch walk. And I noticed that this package was here. Who <sighs> Little Cosmetics actually changed my if uh, i have a code with little that's not non-affiliated it is and jessica but they're changing it i think for the uh, for from now until the end of may instead of 10 percent off it is 15 percent off plus it is now an affiliated code just so you know if you want to get some money off and this is the new collection also this is for the blushes it's like an empty packaging and i'm guessing the blushes are in here we have to look at the yellow one <gasps> look at this it's so pretty i think what i am gonna do oh these are so pretty look at these colors i think i'm gonna go look at that purple and then the yellow i think i'm gonna go to because all of a sudden it's not raining so I think I'm going to go to the pool and take some pictures. I will say there is an alarming amount of blue here. So I wonder if something has broken. Because this one, this does not look promising. Yeah. Oh no. Oh my god. Look at this. Two shades are broken. That is not going to make a good Instagram picture. Unfortunately. When I get makeup that's broken... I mean, I take pictures on Instagram because I think it's fun, because I think they're beautiful. And if the pictures are not turning out beautiful, like this broken palette just will not turn out beautiful, I just don't take pictures of them. Not because I don't think the makeup is good, but it's just not... I... Okay, 
I know some people love seeing like really used makeup on Instagram. I absolutely despise it. Listen, clean your makeup. What are you doing? Don't show me filthy makeup. Like, I don't want to see that. And this is just me. I know some people disagree and feel like they want to see that. I don't. <laughs> I really, really don't. I don't want to see like just... I don't want to see that but that's just my personal preference and that's why I probably will not take a picture of this because it looks like this but otherwise otherwise the palette looks beautiful I'm excited to be using it but I'm gonna have to see if I can put some... that was my phone I'm gonna see if I can put a little bit of um, alcohol on this one and I'm gonna see if I can clean some of these things off that have a little blue on them because I have the lippies here as well. Um, and then I'm going to go to the pool and take some pictures of other things. But not these. Because they are not photogenic enough for me. I'm actually by the pool now. I'm taking some pictures. I have two perfumes. This one and also this one from Kaali. That I'm just taking some pictures by. I think pool pictures are just so pretty. I just love how they look. So yeah. I just... All of a sudden, the weather is amazing, so I'm just doing that. <laughs> just taking some pictures. Hopefully, they will turn out okay. I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna do some B-roll for the the lethal cosmetics things. I don't know if you can see anything, so that I am prepared for tomorrow's video. It is evening, Ricardo is doing some work still, and I ordered sushi, because he was at a conference today. Sushi is not for you. He was at a conference today, and he said he had multiple buffets. I did not, so I am having sushi. It's not for you. It is filming day, but I'm having a snack. This is goat brie. Oh, so good. I thought I was going to do a tasty sandwich. So I'm having a little toast with goat brie. And I'm in the middle of filming. I've been filming one look with the palette that I showed you yesterday. The wildflower one. And I'm wearing one of the lippies. And I'm going to film one more look with this one. I want to do something super purpley because this one is so pretty. I really want to do that. And just like a very... I don't do a lot of monochromatic looks anymore. So I'm thinking monochromatic moment um even though technically this one is a little monochromatic but it looks like this shimmer like this shimmer is the one that looks green here it's this one so i wasn't thinking it was going to be monochromatic but maybe this is a little monochromatic too but honestly i just want to do a purple look so that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna wear the purple lippy with it so that is my plan but yeah today has been filming day i woke up and i have been just working since about 7 30 this morning i had some coffee and then i've been you know doing my hair filming preparing it is now 11 17 11 17 and i am done filming one look plus one other video and i'm gonna film my second look and one more video so three videos today and i need to edit at least one of them as well and I think that's gonna be like the end of my work day like filming three videos and editing one video that is more than enough <laughs> more than enough for one work uh, day so I just turned all the lights off behind me because I'm having this little snack but honestly I love filming so having filming days is it makes me really happy and I, I kind of like having filming days and editing days separate that is uh that is my favorite but i'm gonna have to do a little editing a little bit because i want to put this video with this look i want to put that up um tomorrow
Monica, big stretch. You want to come up. You like this corner. Yes, this is the Kaisa corner. Are you getting up? Oh, there you go. Okay, I have been working. It is just after 6 and I'm done working, which feels like a bit of an accomplishment. I'm so excited that I am done working so early today. Oh, I got an itch. I think it's allergies. Uh, and I just walked the dogs and I was watering the plants and I got some mayo and I thought we could look at it. This is... How do you open this one? This is from Scentbird. Let me open. So this is my subscription from Scentbird. This is not... Uh, sponsored or anything like that this is the subscription that I'm paying for myself and I actually chose uh, Tiziana Terenzi Kirike as my monthly fragrance and this is part of their I'm pretty sure it's was it Nordstrom or is it Neiman or one of those department stores are having a collaboration with Scentbird where if you add I think you add like ten dollars or five dollars or something you can add and choose one of these more exclusive scents so oh and they gave me another case oh okay I didn't know you got another case maybe every like four months or something you get a case that's cool but this one is pretty much known as being like a cult favorite within the community of scents and I just wanted to see you know sometimes it's like with it's like with cult favorites with uh, <laughs> what was I gonna say like cult favorites with movies and books like sometimes you just have to like see it and see if it's for you so this is a fruity perfume which I love but it has passion fruit cassis but then it also has lily of the valley and patchouli and musk and lily of the valley is usually not something I go for that is very strong like intensely strong I, I have a fragrance on I don't know where I'm supposed to put this oh it is very fruity oh the cassis is wonderful mm. I'm gonna have to I'll put this on my hand and I will try it out and I will let you know how I feel but there is a risk that I will think that this is too heavy on the flowers because of the lily of the valley and patchouli but we'll see I might be surprised. The second thing I have here is from Unearthly Cosmetics. And this is my own order again. None of these things are PR. These are things I bought myself with my own money. And this is the last palette that I ordered from the... It's the reformulation and repackaging of some of her favorites because she has been trying to just streamline her entire um just everything she offers because she has changed the logo so this is the new with unearthly so this is the lore palette and these new ones come super well packaged in like a little gift box like box like this that you can keep as well and let us see how this one looks tesla is here as well i am by the tv because i think i'm gonna watch netflix so this is what the palette looks like on the inside and there is a plastic and this is the palette so i do own this palette from before i've owned it in its former two uh formulations and i am super excited to be owning it in its final form basically uh, i'm super excited to see the the path that unearthly has been taken the owner is super sweet and hardworking. and even though there's been some obstacles i'm just so excited of where she is right now and where her brand is right now this lore palette is probably is it still my favorite from unearthly it's at least top three maybe even the best palette according to me and it's definitely the best way to start with unearthly because you get to have four really beautiful mattes that go together you can do yellow orange or this like berry and you have a black and then there are five duochromes so there are five duochromes and four mattes and this is just a beautiful palette and i am going to be doing a dedicated video on unearthly cosmetics soon where i'm going to be showing these um like re-released palettes i'm going to be showing the lip glosses and the highlighters kaisa went i think maybe ricardo is back but i I'm gonna watch some Netflix. I deserve that. I worked from uh, 7 o'clock this morning, oh, well, maybe 7.30 because I was doing my coffee until 6 o'clock. Yeah, he's definitely coming. That is like, is that a 11, 10 and a half hour workday? I think I deserve some Netflix.
Ricardo come back home. Hi, welcome back from work. Hello. And he made, I think you call it like hash brown or something, but it's not really hash brown because we're having the jam that we got at Ikea with it. We call it, what did I say now? Not ragmunk. Ragmunk. Potato pancakes. Potato pancakes. There, are, there is also one that is like only potatoes that is more like your hash brown, but that we would call ragmunk. Roar akur. This is ragmunk. What do you think this is? A pet buffet? I'm gonna need you to simmer down. He's like, please let me have some potato pancakes. Please. Hello, friends. I have been filming, but I just got a package and I was too excited, so I ran down and <laughs> I already opened the package. But I'll show you what's in it because it's something from a trip for Charleston and I've been wanting this for a really long time. So I feel like this trip to Charleston was just like an excuse for me to get it. It's pretty. So I got a package in. I ordered this from Neiman Marcus and I've already unpacked it. I got the Cult Gaia bag. This one is called the Hera shoulder bag and i got it in the nano size which is the smallest size and it does have oh, there's a plastic on this one this is going to be my glitzy glammy <laughs> try to get some plastic off of this one glitzy glammy evening bag i don't have any like evening bags i don't have anything like glitzy at all it's not normally my style but i have found a couple of occasions where i've been like that would fit like i wish i had something like this and this is a soft bag and i love slouchy bags so it has some padding in here just to hold the shape oh there's also some rhinestones here if i lose one i can put one back on that's cool um and then there is a dust bag i'm guessing a dust bag and the yeah the certificate okay so let's put that back in. Uh, Cult Gaia is a really, really cool brand. And they're not a super, super expensive ba brand. I think they're like, what did I pay for this one? <sighs> I think I paid $428, which is a lot of money, but it's not like a five or $6,000 Dior bag. So I think I'm in the, the realm of doing pretty okay. But you can see here, it's a slouchy bag. So you fill it with stuff and it's like a little crystal bag and you can put it like this if you want to or you can just hold it in your hands and look at this just look look at these aren't these so cool i am so excited to be wearing this to like evenings and stuff uh, bringing it to charleston i am i'm so so excited i've been looking at this i've been seeing other people wearing this and when i took uh, ricardo to neiman marcus the a couple of weeks ago we probably should do something fun again i showed him this bag but they didn't have it in this uh, color in store and i showed this bag to my husband and he liked it he was like i like it he was literally he said to me just buy it and i told him that there is another color that i wanted because they had like the green and they had the red and they had like a rainbow one as well but i showed him this one is called clear because the crystals are clear and this is just going to go with everything but at the same time not being a black because they have it in black as, was, as well so you know that my husband likes something when he says just buy it so that's what i did and i'm so excited and i did buy another thing from neiman markets as well to have for the trip and i am going to be trying out some outfits just trying out some outfits and seeing what i'm bringing and i think we'll do that tomorrow if we have time and if we don't have time we'll do it on friday but i'm definitely doing it in this vlog and this one it's so pretty hi sir you want to go out and pee Okay, we'll do that real soon. I am just going to be packing a couple of more orders that are going out today. We are getting dog food! The dogs are eating more expensive than we are. And I don't know why they're trying to like get bites from our food. We should be the ones begging to get bites from their food. They're the ones having the, the fancy food. But yeah, we're going to... Is it PetSmart? Petco? I don't know. One of them. One of the two to get some uh, dog food and then we're going to 
head H-E-B to get some butter <laughs> I'm out of butter I was trying to eat a sandwich this morning but it was hard there was a shortage like a cute a shortage of butter <laughs> So this is the food that we're getting. Uh, I don't know if I've told you before, I think I have, but Tesla has like mad allergies against, well, everything? Something. Something, we don't really know what, but it's taken us about a year here in the US to find food that he actually doesn't go bonkers over. When I mean bonkers, I mean his allergies, his allergies go bonkers. So we found this one and this is the only place where we have found it. So. This is the store we have to go to. <laughs> Just wanted to show you my outfit. This is running Aaron's outfit. I'm having... Shh, you see I'm doing something important. I'm having the top that I filmed in. It's the top that I bought when we moved here with the cowboy things on it. I'm having my crossbody and some just, I don't know, chinos? But I like like tapered pants and my new shoes what was this sakai it's a japanese designer i just think they're so cool they're the coolest shoes ever good morning good morning <laughs> i'm having my ahsoka t-shirt on i don't know if you can see over here there is a box Boom, boom, boom. There is a box over here. It's hiding. Um, oh my! Uh, I got some. I got my package with my new shoes. So we're gonna be trying those on. But I'm gonna walk the dogs and I'm gonna have some lunch. I've been filming my new makeup releases. I'm wearing a cut crease today, and I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna edit my new makeup releases, and then I think I'm gonna head to the pool for like an hour. Cause I deserve a little break by the pool. But now. We're gonna walk these ones. Are you ready for a pee break? I think yes. I am by the pool. Oh, so amazing. I have uh, filmed and edited and uploaded my new makeup releases. So it's, it's uploading right now. So I thought I'd just go here because the weather is so nice and it's been raining for weeks in Austin. So I thought I'd just go here for like an hour, an hour and a half maybe because I have a couple more mails that I need to look into. So I'm just gonna be relaxing for like an hour, an hour and a half, because I worked through my lunch break as well, which I usually don't do. I usually give myself a lunch break, but I did work through my lunch break. But I've been talking about that on my channel. My work-life balance have not been ideal. I was doing so good with my work-life balance. The beginning part of 2022, I would even say like two thirds of 2022 but then something happened during the fall time and I just fell off the wagon and we just everything that happened with like cinch and everything and I'm so grateful for everything like a lot of work of course means a lot of success but I just need to get back on work-life balance and one of the things that I am going to be doing oh you can hear a plane in the, in the background one of the things that I want to be doing is going back to implementing small breaks outside of the home during weekdays just leaving for the pool leaving doing something just not being cooped up in the house i think it's gonna do me well so i brought a book i'm gonna be reading um i don't know if i'm gonna go in the pool because like i said it's been raining for weeks and i think it's probably pretty cold but it might <laughs> if it becomes really warm i might refresh myself with the pool a little bit but let me show you just how beautiful the water is okay now that i'm coming a little closer there actually is a bunch of leaves in here it probably has been blowing in here <laughs> during the rains that we've been having but honestly the water looks beautiful i'm just i just am so excited to be relaxing next to this pool i am back from the pool and I have the new collection from Colourpop here in a lavender haze. I think this is the... What was this one called? It was called something specific. 
So the one that I am the most intrigued by, of course, is this palette. It's very, very cool toned. Even more cool toned than I thought. I don't know what what possessed me to think that it was gonna be that it wasn't gonna be this cool toned, but it really is super, super cool toned. But it's cute. I think I'm gonna be using this tomorrow because I'm gonna film a get ready with me tomorrow. I also opened the package that I got from uh, Neiman Marcus because I bought a pair of shoes for the trip that I'm taking uh, to Charleston with my friends. Let's see if we can get these out of here without... This is what they look like. I think they're called the Gippy. I'm not 100% sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's like a thong sandal and it is very, very... I love the pointy toe. Even though it's open, I love the thong detail and I love this like heel that's going in. Those usually give a little bit more support, which you might not think when you look at this. Pretty sure I got it in a 36. Yes, this is a 36 and I cannot wait to be wearing this one. I wanted to try out some outfits, but I think I'm going to do that on Saturday instead and show you what I'm thinking about packing. I'm only gone for four days, but listen, I need options. <laughs> I'm still wearing my pool dress and I still have my bikini on, but this is the shoes. You know what I'm saying, what I'm saying, like it's almost like a thong, it's almost like a flip-flop, but with a heel. I think these are incredible and I really need to paint my toes before we get on this. I was trying to hunch down, but I'm too old before we get on this trip. I think they're so perfect. I don't know if you can see them. I think you can. They're cute, right? I think they are so adorable and I cannot wait to wear them out. And they're actually surprisingly comfortable. So cute. Do you think she really wants to sit there? That's a firm no. <laughs> firm no. Anyways, this is the patio. We just put the barbecue on. We're gonna um, do a little barbecue today. We're doing some uh, mice, well, some corn. You call it corn. And then we're doing um, a little bit of like peppers and stuff. Oh, and we also bought some beef, which we usually don't do. The other dog is in here. So we put some lights up here and things are actually starting to grow a little bit here. I don't know if I've showed you. Look, look at this basil is coming on really good. And I don't really, I thought this was going to be a flower, but it's just big, a big, tree and i'm loving how the chairs are looking with everything and i'm just i'm it's a little oasis it's a little oasis and i am reading the first book from sarah j moss i'm reading it in swedish this got recommended to me by my friend heather austin and i'm just finishing up the first book now i'm gonna have to read the rest of them in english which is fine though what are you doing sweetie are you cleaning the motorbike Sounds like fun! I think Kaisa will help. <laughs> I've been having one of those days. Did you wake up, baby? Oh, did you wake up? Oh, stretchy. Thank you. I've been feeling a little stressed as of late. Um, well, you've all known this. And today I just feel, I just got this overbearing feeling of sadness and I don't know why. It just hit me after I was done filming because I filmed this one but a little furry butt. I filmed this look. I filmed actually the 10 minute um, makeup challenge and then I filmed the video before this as well. And after filming this one, it just hit me. And I mean, that's the, that's the part of like, I don't know, long-term depression. I've been battling with it on and off my entire life. 
sometimes I just feel so overwhelmed and so sad. And thank God I have you. Thank God I have you. We're gonna walk. We're gonna take a walk. I think I'm gonna order some comfort food for me. Oh, you're my baby. My mommy loves you. I'm so happy you found us. So happy you're here. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for being so cuddly. But yeah, I'm not feeling the absolute hottest right now. So <laughs> yes, we're gonna take a walk and then I'm just gonna treat myself to some comfort food. And I'm get I need to pack some orders. I printed some labels just now. So that's what I'm actually gonna do when I get back with the dogs. I'm gonna pack my orders because I have a pickup coming after four today. And I have a bunch of orders that needs to go out. But I'm just gonna treat myself to, you know, an early work week. Are you the cutest? Don't tell the others. I say that to all my pets. Every time I pet my pets, I always like, you're my favorite, don't tell the others. And then I pet the other pet and I'm like, you're my favorite, don't tell the others. It has been a very, very big thunderstorm. And look at this one. She got caught in the rain and she came in. Oh, she came in, oh, so cozy all wet and she was not happy about it but we had a really really big thunderstorm so cat is in the rain is over now ricardo is with the doggos on a play date oh, i'm sorry oh you're so cozy she laying on the pillow literally to keep warm i'm folding some boxes you can see them over here and here because i was almost out of boxes and <laughs> since i am shipping everything from cinch here from my home it is me and ricardo doing all of this so i'm watching a documentary on netflix and i'm folding boxes to last me hopefully through the next week i like to do that during the weekends just to like you know be prepared once the week comes um so i think that's gonna be probably a good idea oh, this one a little crooked there we go but yeah, that's my Friday. I feel a little better now. I took a little break. I ate some comfort food. I actually ended up feeling more, I don't want to say hopeful, but a bit, I got some ease of mind. Um, the, the, the just the heavy darkness that just falls over you, it kind of just disappeared, which was nice. So I actually got a solid two hours of work um, out of the afternoon, I filmed and edited some sponsored pieces. Um, I was able to edit some reels. I edited a video for Monday, so that was good. I was excited about that. So now I'm just watching this documentary, holding some boxes, petting my cat. <laughs> Happy Saturday! It's windy today. Like, really windy. But I'm out on the patio drinking some coffee and I am gonna finish my book. And I like it, I really like it. I have a little bit left to read, you can see there at the end. So I'm gonna read that and Ricardo just made a dinner reservation for us tonight. We're gonna go to this place that's fairly close by and it is a Peruvian kitchen. And Ricardo loves Peruvian food and I love ceviche, so I mean, what's not to love? And I am gonna um, break in my new shoes, I think. Just gonna dress up a little bit. But yeah, right now I'm just chilling. It's not super warm because it's so windy and we had this like storm going on yesterday. But it's supposed to be super warm tomorrow, so I'm excited about that. But we are actually just drinking some coffee and we're heading to Ulta. This is my idea, not for coffee. I just want to... I haven't been to an Ulta for so long and I just really want to... I want to check it out. But now I'm going to finish the book. I don't even know if you can hear me, but we're at Ulta! And look, I'm wearing my new heels. The ones that I bought when we were in uh, Houston, right? The Alexander Berman ones. Pretty! I love taper jeans and we are going maybe makeup shopping depending on what's in store. I want to look at if they have the Juvia's Place blushes and the Natasha Denona concealer. 
If they do, I might buy something. If they don't, I might not buy something. Okay, so I feel like I was pretty good. I only bought two things and one thing was one of the things that I wanted to buy which was the Juvia's Place blush, liquid blush. But I wanted to get the orange one but it was out of stock. But then I decided, you know what, I'm gonna get this one that's Marigold because I always get the orangey one and I thought that maybe I'll pick something else and just see how I like the formula. So this is like more of a corally, pink coral situation. And then I actually got, we're heading to what was it called? Like a lunch place with some Chinese food? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just having some lunch. I actually bought, I don't know if you could see that in store, a brow pen from REM Beauty because they had some really nice colors. They had a like almost like a, they had a strawberry blonde, but I decided to go for the honey blonde, which was like a warm blonde. And I like having a lighter color behind my brow hairs and then fill in with the brow pen. So I actually just used up the strawberry pencil by ABH. Like, I have probably one or two uses still left in it so I shouldn't say I used it up because I didn't but yeah there's just a little use out of that one and then I'm gonna go into this REM one and see how I like the formula because it seemed promising so I'm excited to try these things out I wanted to see if the Natasha Denona concealer was in store but it wasn't in store they actually didn't really have a Natasha Denona stand here they just had this little like centerpiece kind of a thing with some palettes so I kind of want to pick out a shade in store because there are so many shades and I have no idea what to pick but I'm gonna have to keep trying. Okay, so change of mind, we're having Mexican instead. Hopefully, if it's open. <laughs> I don't know if this is light enough, but I am gonna be trying on some clothes. Look at my sexy outfit right now, but I'm gonna be trying on some clothes because I'm thinking about. Are you bending me? Because I'm thinking about like what to wear to Charleston, and I have three outfits that I've like thought about in my head, and I just want to see if they're possible. Why is it so dark? Kaisa, help me. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the first outfit. And we have two dinners that are described as dressy casual. And I feel like this could be the one. Because it's like still colorful. And it's like two pieces. But like it's still dressy. But it's not jeans. Why are you pacing? Oh my. What do you think? Do you think this is too much for dressy casual? Or do you think this is good? Because I, like I said, I still want to be... A little bit colorful because I like colorful clothing so I think this might be a good contender okay so this is my second option I love these silver shorts and I haven't been able to wear them yet now you're pacing and I feel like I even brought out the bag because I feel like these would be like perfect with the bag they're just a little bit different is this a dressy casual like they're still shorts it's the little top maybe I'll wear like a belt with it. I just, I think they're cool. Cause like, I like dressing up and I like having something fun on. What do you think? Is it too much? Or is it fun? Cause like, I wanna be fun. <laughs> is this fun? Am I fun? I don't know. Let me know. And why is my looking so pathetic? I need to blow dry, like a what do you call it? A blowout. That's what you call it. But I think this looks cute. Maybe a belt? I don't know. Okay, this is just me wearing my favorite shirt with these shorts. I have never worn this together and I wouldn't wear this with heels. I just happen to have the heels on. I think I would wear this with flats and maybe for like a, a lunch or something. Or do I think that this is like too safari? <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna have to let me know what you think about this. I might still bring these shorts and just wear it with something else and just wear my brown sandals. I don't know. Maybe this is like too dressy dressy. 
but I love this one though. I'll give it a thinker, but I love these shorts. They're very cute, but maybe too much with this shirt. I think it's better when it's not tucked in. I think that might be why. Just love the the more loose, looseness of this skirt when like shirt when it's not tucked in. But I don't know if that would work with these shorts because like the shirt might be like longer than the shorts. So they work better with like other things. Cuz or maybe no, this isn't maybe this isn't the one. So we're at the restaurant. Hopefully we'll like it. We'll see. Ooh, sun is still up. Mm -mm -mm. This looks cozy. This does look cozy. Oh, and I'm wearing the new shoes, the heels. So this is the restaurant right here. It's called Lima Criola. I hope you like it. And this is my outfit, just top and pants and new shoes. Good morning! Oh my god, I look like a crazy pineapple. <laughs> You're welcome. Having coffee and some strawberries. Having the last ones, me and Ricardo decided to do like a late lunch slash early dinner. Mm -hmm. At like 4 or something. So we are waiting for someone to meet our kitty cat because we're gonna have a little meet and greet with someone who is to um, sit her, cat sit her, <laughs> when we're going to Europe. So we're just gonna have a little meet and greet to make sure that she's not crazy. So we're hoping she's not. Oh, oh my! This is this is really something. Uh, and then we're going to the pool. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm to enjoy the sunshine. It's gonna be really warm today. Uh, well, really warm for a Swede at least. I think it's supposed to be somewhere between. 25 and 30, which is for us warm. So we're just gonna go and read it. Oh, and I can start a new book because I finished my book. So we are by the pool, as you can see. Oh, you can see my husband's foot in the background. <laughs> Wave your foot. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we're just by the pool enjoying just a little R&R. &R. It's lovely. It's kind of warm today, isn't it? I mean, this is probably the warmest so far you, don't you think at least this is the warmest pool day that I've had yeah I've only been this is the fourth time that I've been here but it's lovely we just got back from the pool doggos are here and we are cooking we're making risotto so we're having some of the arborio is it called arborio rice onion this is parmesan cheese we're gonna have some red wine in there oh my god that was a very whiny little thing and then some bouillon so we can make some uh, broth mushrooms and that's about it hopefully this will turn out we really need to put some oil on that <laughs> hopefully we'll turn into something good Okay, I am about to end this vlog. I just told my husband to not make noises with the cracker plastic. I feel like he's not loving this. And the dogs are like... Bark. They don't bark. Oh, she's like, can I have a cracker please and thank you. But yeah, we're heading out to the dog park that we do every Sunday with our neighbors. Gonna let the dogs play a little bit, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. I have no idea how long this vlog is. It could be anything from 10 minutes to two hours. I don't think two hours. <laughs> I have no idea, but I hope you enjoyed me being back vlogging a bit. I'll try and vlog next week as well. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again in my next vlog. Bye.